why stem cells are needed as a knee replacement alternative. In a recent editorial, Mahantra and Khan reported the frequent outcome for osteoarthritis in large joints such as the knee. It's surgical intervention for joint replacement. A joint replacement tends to be successful in older sedentary patients, but the limited lifetime of prostheses makes it much less desirable for younger and more active patients. The numbers of primary and revision total knee replacements are projected to increase sixfold by the year 2030. And this is the driving force behind numerous ongoing efforts to develop new cell-based strategies for the treatment of focal cartilage defects to prevent secondary osteoarthritis. Current options for the repair of focal cartilage lesions include abrasion chondroplasty, subchondral drilling and microfracture, and these result in the formation of what is called fibrocartilage rather than the desired hyaline cartilage with inferior mechanical and hydroelastic characteristics. It's weaker. Autologous chondrocyte implantation is a cell-based strategy currently in clinical practice. Although short-term clinical results have uh, been good, evidence suggests that formation of fibrocartilage and uh, progression of degenerative changes in the joint have continued. Tissue engineering applications using mesenchymal stem cells present uh, an interesting new approach for the repair of articular cartilage defects. So when you click on the button below, you'll get access to a page where you can sign up to receive a free portfolio of information that will give you the inside scoop on how stem cells can help you if you have osteoarthritis. The science, the biology, and most importantly, the results. See you on the other side.